Gospel of Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. The Gospel of Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. Several days later, or a few days later, when Jesus returned, Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. when Jesus saw their faith. Now please speak to the other neighbor, tell them neighbor, when God sees your faith. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. Please tell your neighbor, neighbor, your sins are forgiven. A very interesting story and I want to preach one of my shortest sermon today. Because I can see my time up there. And say this. Faith creates an atmosphere of miracles. Faith creates an atmosphere where miracles can happen. So anytime you, like we have sung what a friend we have in Jesus, why do we fail is because we don't create an atmosphere where chochote chaweza kutendeka. Because baada ya siku kadha, Yesu alirudi kafrenaum. Watu wakapata habari kwamba alikuwa nyumbani. Imani ikawavutia wengi wakaweza kuja mahali pale. Nataka niseme pointi yangu ya kwanza ni hii. God responds to our faith. God does not respond to our resources or where we come from, but God responds to faith. If I have faith in God, it is a sure way that I know that God is going to respond to me, even if it takes a little longer, because I have faith in this God. God is going to do something. The Bible says in verse number four, Jesus saw their faith and responded by forgiving the sins of the paralyzed man and healing him. Sometimes we ask, why, why forgive sin? Because the trouble with the paralyzed man, maybe, he thought he was in that situation because of sin. So Jesus is telling him, now your sins are forgiven. Even those that you thought you had done, you're forgiven. But what Jesus was trying to say, now that you are forgiven, allow faith. And he's told now, take up your mat. Start walking around. Because some of us, where we are, the struggle is, we think we have sinned, or our fathers have sinned, or there is a curse, generation or whatever. So we miss to see God. So your sins are forgiven. That thing that you thought it is you that did it, that's why you're not lucky. Because some of us think luck is not on our way because of the things that were spoken to us. Because of that, Jesus started by saying, your sins imagined, your sins that you have condemned yourself with has been forgiven. Oh, tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are sitting next to someone whose sins are forgiven. I am therefore, there is therefore no condemnation to me because I have been set free. Now with that in mind, then tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are in a place of miracle. Oh, yes. Hebrews 11:6 6 says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For without creating an atmosphere of faith, where God can penetrate your heart and heal you and set you free, 
without faith it is impossible to please God because he who comes to God must believe that he is God, that he, God, that he, our savior, will honor my faith and reward it. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him by faith. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you are seeking him, he will reward you. Unajua yes, hiyo kama shetani, shetani unamfanyia kazi na hakuna mshahara. But as long as I have faith in God, it will come to pass in Jesus name. I love the church here, although they are not saying any amen today. You see what? If you came with the faith here, you are creating an atmosphere for you. And you know what? Where there is an atmosphere of faith, there will be shouting. People will be shouting because already they are waiting for their miracle. Not sadness. I know that God, once he finishes with you, he, it, I'm next. So if I'm sitting next to someone who seems like they are receiving, I am next. Say hi to your neighbor. I am next. Hallelujah. So where there is the atmosphere of, uh, of faith, there is singing of praise. Yani, unaka ukibubujika. Ukisema, buwana anaweza yote. Amenitendea. Niko na imani ndani yake. Niko na matumaini. Mungu watanitendea mambo makubwa. Palipo na imani, where there is a faith, there is some reaction of laughter and praise. Reaction of dancing and praise, reaction of joy and praise. I don't know your attitude in church today because it will determine your faith. Because faith creates an atmosphere of expecting around others. It is like if I am expecting and I'm around others, I'm going to contaminate them. Say hi to your neighbor. Try to contaminate them by your faith. Changanya hawa. Unajua kama umekaa na mtu na wakati walikuwa wakidance, haku dance na wewe kama kama yeah. Yeah. Changamka, mwambie jirani yako achangamke. Yeah. Atmosphere, you know I normally tell people, when you come to church, don't be churchy. Allow the atmosphere because you are coming so that God can do something. You don't come to church to be entertained. You come to church so that God can do something. It creates an atmosphere of expecting. And if you are expecting, cause others. Chafua hewa. While you are karibu now. Because faith reflects. It will like reflect in your facial expression. Your body language. Your tone of your voice. And your confession. Oh, I hope you got what I said. Say, tell your neighbor, neighbor. It will reflect in your facial expression. It will be seen on your body language. It will be seen on the tone of your voice. It will be seen on your confession. Hallelujah. Am I talking to people who have come to church expecting God to do something? Allow that faith to, be, to contaminate your neighbor. Unajua ukikaa maali na ungwana. Na ule mmekaa na ya na ungwana. Mambo ya atendeki. <laughs> you know, some have a better attitude when they go to a football. Hey, si jana Manchester muliona. Eh? Hey, I say, nilisikia, wali furahi. Si wali cheka. Si wali piga makofi. Kwa mda mrefu wamekaa na baridi kama kuku wamenyeshewa. Jana, he, mujiza nao. Ukatendeka Manchester United Dio nyinyi Dio nyinyi eh, Hata nyinyi mko na kikombe You know by the way Kuna watu hapa waelewe tunasema nini Be Because they don't follow Mpira ukechezo anazima TV Anaona kama inampotezea wakati But you guys from Manchester City Don't you worry You are still not doing so bad The cups will remain in that city which is called Manchester. Anyway, that's for another day. So some have that attitude when they go to a football field. We give the favorite team our best. Why can't we do the same when we come to the house of God and give God a real praise, singing, 
laughter, dancing, joy in our praise. Let it be seen in our faces. Amen. Galia jirandi yako, mwambie, kwani umekuja maambolezo? Mwambie, Yesu, you hai. Jesus is alive. Say this, faith. Say faith. Matthew 17, 20, the Bible says, Jesus says, I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, if you have what? Faith as what? A mustard seed. Oh man. You will say to this mountain, which means your war, your circumstance, your problems, move from here, go there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. So faith is something to be excited about. Amen. Amen. There has to be an atmosphere of faith in the church for lives to be changed and for lives to be transformed because faith, Hebrews 11 verse 1, is the evidence. Salimia jirani yako. Mwambia jirani. Faith ni evidence. Onyesha evidence. Ionekane imani yako. Because a church without faith is empty. A church that has no faith is empty. Because we sing having faith that God hears us. That's why we sing. We pray believing in faith that God will answer us. That's why we pray. We can give our expectancy in our hearts and the things that we have that we know God is going to heal us. So when we come to that place of unity in our spirit, it is an atmosphere of faith that will cause things to happen. So when Jesus went to his hometown to minister, not many were healed because of their unbelief. Not only unbelief, because of the lack of faith and also familiarity, the familiar spirit. Tell them, don't be familiar with God. Because familiarity, what does it do? It does something. And if you have contempt in the house of God, you cannot receive what God has for, for us and for you. Mm. Hallelujah. Wow. So the following are ways we can create an atmosphere of faith in our church. Number one, creating an atmosphere of faith in the church starts during the week. Tell your neighbor, starts during the week. You know, you can't come here thinking you will get it here. You come with it here. Here, it becomes a fulfillment of all our faith together. When everyone is here, and you come on a Wednesday, and then you are calling someone who was not in the church, what do you tell them? You share to them what God has done. When you are calling somebody who has not been on, in, on, in church on Sunday, or when is the Bible study, you share all the things that God has done for you in the course of the week that creates an atmosphere of faith looking forward to going to the house of God so that God can minister and bring deliverance to you. Hallelujah. So faith is starts there in the course of the week. Secondly, creating the atmosphere starts before we get to church. So when you get up Sunday morning and you can't find your hairbrush, start praising the Lord for your hair. Some people don't have any, but you have some. Start thanking God for. Yani umekosa kichanuo tu. I say, sifu bwana niko na nyweli nikichanuo karibu nikiite kifagio. Nikichanuo sina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you get up na na maziwa, I say, na hiyo maziwa ina behave in Uganda, you are subu. Unaenda kufanya nini? Inakuwa makoboli, makoboli, makoboli. You thank God that at least you had some milk because there are others that have not seen milk for a long time. You start having an atmosphere of faith. Ama ununue kofia. Wadada, ununue kofia. Ndugu, Nyolewa yote. Iyo kidogo. 
wacha kuji kujisumbua nayo kuna complaint bure amen <laughs> so create an atmosphere who who created yourself there was a woman in the bible where she was she started creating an atmosphere of faith she started by saying if i touch the hem if i touch the hem if i touch the hem so faith was not when she touched the atmosphere started at home it was only the action that was remaining and there are some of us when we are coming we are saying if i get there if i touch the altar if someone prays for me my life will never be the same again create that atmosphere before you come thirdly we create an atmosphere of faith when we all get involved so you come to church and you don't allow others to do it for you like now i'm telling you to greet somebody and some of you are looking at me we are told clap our hands and some of you are sipigi hiyo roho ya rebellion utatoka nayo tu na roho ya rebellion when we come to the house of god the bible says tunakuja kama watoto tunanyenyekea mbele zake Verse 4 says they could not get to Jesus through the crowd so they dug through the roof an atmosphere of faith conquers impossibility they dug through the clay roof and lowered their friend to Jesus amen because if i have faith it conquers that atmosphere of faith conquers impossibility they took part in what was happening and you need to take part with what is happening when you come to church psalms 104 enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise do so when you come to the house of god it won't matter if someone took your seat or that you spilled coffee on your pants when you're coming or somebody stepped on you or the parker showed you the wrong place to park your car when you enter come with praise in the house of god it is an atmosphere that is going to bring a miracle for you. Hallelujah. Psalms 47 verse 1 says, clap your hands. So when you come to the house of God, make it, create an atmosphere of praise by clapping your hands. Wengine tunambiwa tuzunguke. Nita zunguka zunguka kwenye kiti cha enzi. Nita imba hosana. Na unasema, nita imba hosana. Na umejishika, nita imba usana, nita zunguka, wacha kudanganya, kwenye kiti chae, wacha kudanganya. Kuzunguka, ni kuzunguka. Mwambie jirani yako, get involved. Psalms 33 verse 3 says, shout for joy. So you come to the house of God, shout for joy. And nobody is going to condemn you. Oh, I pray that this church will become church not just religious but we come to the house of god you get involved shout aloud to the rock of our salvation 95 verse 1 shout with joy to god 66 verse 1 96 verse 7 says sing to the lord praise his name psalms 13 6 says i will sing to the lord for he has been good to me create that atmosphere fourthly you can also take the excitement with you when you're going home Salimia jirani yako, mwambie, hata ukiondoka hapa, unaenda nayo. We, hallelujah. You go with the same atmosphere as you leave the church. You take it to work, you take it to the marketplace, you take it to your family, you take it to your friends. What an atmosphere. If you have that atmosphere of faith, it's going to bring two, three things. That I'm, and I'm just about to finish. I told you, this will be the shortest sermon that I've ever preached. I can... It is only 25. I have taken 20 now. There is about six remaining. Blessed be the name of... Blessed be the name of the Lord. An atmosphere of, of, of faith brings what the Bible says in John 8, 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Faith brings that... That atmosphere of faith brings an atmosphere of faith that brings freedom. Faith without works is dead. But real faith gets involved. Faith must be active. Your situation will change when you exercise your faith. Hallelujah. That I was sad yesterday, but now I have faith in God. I'm going to create an atmosphere 
of change. Secondly, it, an atmosphere of faith brings revelation. Tell your neighbor, revelation. James chapter 1 verse 6, wisdom is given to those who ask in faith. If I'm going to have any revelation, I ask for it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God give you revelation as you create an atmosphere of faith. Thirdly, an atmosphere of faith brings trust. If you, God starts doing things, you will trust him. And by extension, you start trusting others. It brings trust. Psalms 37 verse 40 says, And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. You keep on trusting God that he will deliver you. He will deliver me. Fourthly, it brings an atmosphere of faith brings healing and deliverance. It brings healing and deliverance. Verse 4 says, they could not get to Jesus through the crowd, so they dug through the roof. What happened when they did it? What, what happened when they, when, when they did it? The Lord brought healing to the guy that was sick. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said so many things. If, if you are going to go home, what would you tell someone? Faith is what? It is an atmosphere. So let your faith create an atmosphere of miracles, right? Wherever you go, place of work, home, and everywhere. Hallelujah. Say hi to your neighbor. Pejirani. Imani tu. Imani tu. He looked up and saw the four. He was pleased by their faith. A miracle happened. May the Lord be pleased by your faith so that a miracle can happen for you, for your family, and for what you do in the name of the Lord. Father, I want to thank you for this wonderful congregation. I want to speak that atmosphere of faith. They will create it wherever they are. And those that came creating it, may this be the time and the season for them to receive that which they were longing for. In Jesus' name, I want to speak to someone here very quickly. Maybe you, you came believing. You came like that woman that says, if I only enter into the house of God, that God will deliver you from a situation that you are struggling with now. Because there are some of us that have been struggling the whole week, you're struggling with something. May the Lord bring deliverance to you now. If you will stand, I will spar a prayer from here that God will meet you where you are in the name of the Lord. Father, we are standing all over the place. We are standing because we have created faith all along the week. Now is time of receiving. Father, I pray that those that are standing, miracles will happen because they have created the atmosphere because of faith that they have that you can do something in their lives. May they hear you tell them, take up your cross and follow me. Take up your mat and be healed. May they hear you say, your sins are forgiven. Whatever things they had carried, the weight, the burden, the spoken word, that they leave the house of God today set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah.